Hello everyone, so today is mine and Aaron's hen and stag do's, so very excited. Um, I'm going to quickly tell you what's happening and then um, we're going to go because I'm not running late but obviously I don't want to end up running late. <laughs> um, so basically I'm going to baking, this baking place called like, it's not because like the big Birmingham bake, it's a bit like Bake Off so that would be really fun. Aaron's going shooting and then we're going to meet for a meal afterwards. So I'll tell you more about it in a bit but we have to leave. And I just filmed some like random little clips of the day, so it'll be nice. If I show you what I'm wearing, I've got this nice little white top on. I'm going to do my nails in a moment. Um, just some jeans and a belt. And then I just got on my lubies. And then I'm gonna quickly put on a jacket because it is sunny outside, but I worry it's gonna be a little bit chilly. Um, and I don't wanna be don't wanna be cold at all. So here's my jacket that I'm gonna wear. It's from Tommy Hilfiger and it's really comfy and it's quite light so it's not too warm but if it is a little bit chilly it will keep me warm and then I've just got this little bag with me it's very cute so I'm very a little bit quite pink today I've got the pink bow and everything Very well done, I must say. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very well done on this. Amazing. Hello everyone. So um, we skipped forward a week. I wanted to tell you about my hen night because um, obviously, well, I didn't say much there because I just didn't really think. I filmed some clips, but I didn't say too much about it. So I thought you'd tell you more about it. And then today I'm off for my final wedding dress fitting and we have less than two months left to go so I'm very excited so yeah last weekend was my hen do it was really fun we went to Birmingham to like a bake-off place so if you know bake-off from the tv it's basically the same type of thing you're in teams two or three and then you compete against everyone else and we had one hour 20 to make our cake so that cake you saw and that my friends made as well that was one hour 20 so really intense like you don't really think about you think oh you know it's not going to be that intense and then as soon as they're like start baking you're like oh my god what am i gonna do so that was really fun um one of my bridesmaids was really kind really lovely to make everyone some bags so i will show you that in a moment and i had this bag that says bride and my name on and then she got all these like personalized gifts which was so so kind and lovely of her and she got um made bags for all the bridesmaids and the rest of the hen party actually so that was really really kind of her and i really appreciate it and i had like a little bride thing and like a little um what's it called a little like veil fun little veil bride to be on and yeah we had like the sashes and i really loved it i had such a great time and then in the evening we met aaron and his stag do so they went shooting um, and they all had a really good time shooting and then we met them afterwards and we had went out for a meal and then we had some drinks afterwards so yeah it was really great really fun today i'm so excited to finally try my wedding dress for the last time well i'll probably put it on before again because I'll probably want to just try it you know with all my accessories and stuff again but um yeah I'm really really excited there shouldn't be any more adjustments um this is just to check that everything's okay and then taking it with us so we're off to Cheltenham for that it's about an hour 15 from where we are um yeah just really excited don't have long left of the wedding um to the wedding I can't believe it it feels like it's I think the Hindu made it kind of seem quite real like oh it's actually coming soon because obviously where we postponed and stuff 
it felt like it was so far away and it was like never gonna come around and now it's actually coming around. So I was gonna drive and meet my parents there um, in Cheltenham. However, one of the main roads for them is closed so they've got to come down this way anyway. So they're gonna pick me up and we're gonna go up together. And Aaron's got some wedding stuff. He's got a list of stuff that he's gonna work through that he wants to get done today and he's gonna like mow the lawn and stuff while I'm gone, which is great because it's getting a bit overgrown because it's been like sunny and then raining and everything just grown like crazy. And we've got some plants, new plants to plant and yeah, so really excited. Not long till I get my braces off, by the way. I get them off in less than four weeks. So I can't wait to get them off. They're basically done. Um, you just have to like keep it on for a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna have like a wire put at the back and I have retainers that I have to wear in the evening for like two weeks. And then after that, I think once a week. And then I'm going to get my teeth whitened as well. So, yeah, it's really exciting. Everything's coming together. Let's go. And I will tell you some more wedding bits, I'm sure. In, well, I will it definitely in this vlog. Um, yeah, maybe some things might arrive soon, hopefully. Because I've ordered a lot of bits from Etsy, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> They're the cutest stuff on Etsy. But yeah, I've got to quickly paint my nails. So, let's go. So, let me show you the things. This, oh, this was um, a hat. So, she got us all hats for the big baits, which is really cool. And then you would have seen I had an apron and it says bride to be on, which I love and was so thoughtful. Um, so yes, I really, really love this. But for the bags, so we all had sashes. Mine was obviously a bride to be sash, which I love. Oh, she got Aaron a groom to be sash, which he loved. Aaron loves this type of stuff as well. <laughs> So that was really fun and he wore that in the evening for our meal. I have this, it's a bride-to-be veil which was so fun wearing because I'm not actually wearing a veil for the wedding day so it was really fun to have one to wear for the hen. And then I also had this and it just says bride on and it's so cute and I really, really enjoyed wearing them. There's a scrapbook which says Aaron and Rebecca STEM party and then I'm just gonna get people to write in this, put little notes, put all pictures, put like different things um, which you'll see in a moment kind of from the evening like little things like this little tag and stuff I'm going to put in here really nice for memories there's this mirror which says Rebecca's hen party um, so I will be popping this in my bag to use generally it's so cute I love personalised stuff this is a little raspberry gin I really enjoy gin especially like fruity ones it says let's have a shot or two before Rebecca says I do um, there's a hair tie to have and to hold your hair back, always handy. This really cute Team Bride bracelet, it says, When you tie this around your wrist, close your eyes and make a wish. Don't be sad when it begins to fray, this means your wish is on its way. It's like a little pen to go with the notebook, which, where have I put the notebook? I think it's in my other bag because I was actually using it to put some notes down. Um... A Yankee Candle Wedding Day. I didn't know they did a Wedding Day fragrance. This smells so nice. I'm going to put this in my living room. And, oh, look at this. Little mixing spoon. RNA, the perfect mix. So cute. And obviously because we've done the baking. And then there were things like different games that we played. Emoji Hen Party. Advice to the Bride. I'm going to give these to some people to fill in. And then we can put in this. And, yeah. Oh, and then there was this brownie. Oh, my God. A brownie mug cake. It was so good it was so delicious <laughs> they were things in kind of like our bride bags which were really really kind of her to make um i love that i'm going to use this for different things um and take it away with me and you know when you just need like a little bag to throw stuff in this is going to be perfect and yeah it was just so kind of her and so unexpected and yeah i love everything and i loved wearing all the different little bride stuff because it's just fun isn't it it's fun it's cute love it hello so we are maybe two no three weeks later i can't i don't know i'm losing track but basically i didn't update you after the wedding dress alterations and there's a reason and the reason is because the alterations were messed up they weren't done properly um yeah so i didn't really want to come on here and talk about it at the time because i was stressed but the seamstress is coming around tomorrow and fixing it We'll see what happens because it's a bit too short. It's quite a bit too short. Basically, basically she's made my dress too short, um, which isn't good. Um, I can't say too much because Aaron, I can hear Aaron over there and I don't want him 
knowing any details of the dress. So I was a bit stressed about that, so that's why I didn't give you an update. Um, but we are now off to pick up the bridesmaid dresses, um, which is exciting. They arrived in yesterday. Sorry if I sound a bit ill. Um, basically, I've had COVID. I'm like negative and stuff now, but I'm still not feeling my best and it's taken a while, taking a while to get over it. Um, yeah, me and Aaron were more ill than, than we thought we would and I didn't think it would go on this long. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. Oh, the my nails, a nice pretty blue, nice and summery. And we're gonna pick up the bridesmaid dresses and I need to find some ribbon for the cake. What else do we need to do? I need to get some other bits from Hobbycraft. Then I'm gonna pop to Swindon Outlet and look for some other wedding -y bits or just bits for the holiday. So I take you along, I'm excited to see the bridesmaid dresses. And yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all coming together. And we've, oh, we've had some bits arrive, which I wanna open and unwrap. So I'll do that today or tomorrow with you. But yeah, it's exciting, not long now, six weeks or something. So <gasps> exciting, let's go get the bridesmaid dresses. Here we go. Oh, there's loads of ribbon. It goes all the way around. See, we want like a pink ribbon. Oh, we could go for a nice white satin now. I think, I think would be nice to go on our cake. Um, oh, but they do have like this one. But I don't know if that material is appropriate for a cake. What well, do you think a satin would be quite pretty? Yeah. And then, oh, we also picked up this. So this is just really nice paper that I need to finish the bow books and stuff. We have the bridesmaid dresses. Oh, it's a bit windy. We're going into Swindon Outlet seeing um, any bits we need for the holiday and we need like some socks for the best men with their suit and little bits like that. But yeah, the dresses look good. I'll show you when we get home. So we've come for some food. We've come to draft. And then we were like, we're hungry, we're going to get a burger, aren't we? Yeah. They've got the Rodeo Burger, which has, what does it have again? It has like... Does it have? Meat. Chicken, bacon, bacon. onion rings. Mm. Still within calories though. Well, mine isn't, but <laughs> focus in on your finger, do you see that? Still within calories. Yes, within Aaron's. Um, Once I eat this, is that, that's it, I can't eat anything else. Yeah, it's got a little bit of weight to lose, it's got five feet to do it. A little bit, but loads of weight. I'll get rid of that ring around my stomach. It's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, we're waiting for our food because we're hungry. Um, we managed to get some socks for blessed men, um, which are quite nice because they've got like a little... Hang on, do you want to show the socks quickly? We wanted navy socks to go with the navy suits, but they have like... Do you see? these on so we thought that would be really cute it's just like a little something that's on there and then I got some I will show you anyway because these are great if you wear trainers it's just these low cut ones and they like don't snip at all so yes right so food has arrived and let me show you it looks good all the cheese and the, the barbecue sauce and everything so we're gonna enjoy this we have the bridesmaid dresses hold on it's not for you luna we have the bridesmaid dresses here you can see they are super long but this is the color i don't think i've shown you i'll hold one up to show you properly but here they are all out we've got six of them in total they all look good so let me show you Okay, lighting's a bit better here. That's Luna. We got her a load of um, new toys and treats and stuff. That's why you can hear her. She's fun the bag. So this is the dress that I got for the bridesmaids. So it's got little straps here on the shoulder, and then this just hangs off the shoulder like that, which is really pretty. It's kind of like fitted at the top, and then it like flows out, and it's like this light chiffon chiffon material so it's really like light and flowy it's got a really nice like underskirt a nice underlayer there so obviously you not see through or anything like that and i'm really really impressed so we got the bridesmaid dresses from wed to be and this is the haven style and i just love the color it's like exactly the color that i was looking for and i think it's just really pretty and i think this just has like a romantic feel to it oh there we go better light like that so yeah 
we just got to get them altered because these come ridiculously long. I mean, I'm five foot seven, and even like this, if you could see, it's like that much excess material on the end. So we've got to get that sorted. We're going to get that sorted in two weeks' time. You know, I'm going to give Luna her new toy because she has been very good while we've been out all day. But yeah, love it. So this is one of her new toys. I put. Aaron picked this one, we thought it was really cute. Hold on, wait. And she loves things that she can like flap about, don't you? <gasps> Ready? Go on then! <laughs> you like your new toy? Okay, cool. Now. <laughs> Hello everyone, so it's the next day, um, the seamstress came around earlier today and she did the, alter well didn't do the alterations but showed us what she's going to do, so hopefully that will be all sorted but I will update you obviously what happens with that, um, and then I've packaged three of the bridesmaid dresses to go to Ireland so I'm going to post them tomorrow morning so then they can get their alterations and stuff done because it's not long now. Um, so today we went to Vista Village and my parents bought Aaron a watch as a wedding gift um, for him to wear on the wedding day so we'll show you that and then we also got some laddery because we love laddery it's like one of our favourite things ever we're obsessed with it we love it so much and they have it at um, Vista Village and basically we're going to do laddery macarons as like the wedding favours to go on the table so yeah so we got a box of 24 and um, with all different flavours and we're all going to try them and see what like is our favourite. Well we have our favourites like my favourite is pistachio and then salted caramel is getting quite close up there but we got all the different flavours they have so me, Aaron and my parents can all try them and decide what flavours we want for the wedding favours. So that's really exciting, we love laddery and any excuse to have some more macarons is always, always welcome. Um, and then we can all make a decision. I think we might maybe do two different flavours. We're not sure yet. So I'll show you the box. They look so good. Um, and tuck in and we'll see what ones we like the most. So here's the box. We chose this one because I thought it was really, really pretty. It has all the macarons at the side. And then it also has them all at the front. And I think it's one of the prettiest boxes they've done. Here's all the different flavours. You know you buy a lot of them when they come with the plastic tray on top because um, the smaller boxes they just have like a little bit of like tissue paper. Oh my goodness, look at all of them. They look amazing. We're obsessed with laddery macarons, specifically laddery ones. This is chocolate pistachio, one of my favourites ever. Lemon, salted caramel. This one is... What is that? Oh, this is a new one. This is, I can't remember what it is, but it's like an alcoholic one. It's a new one, it's not actually on this list. No, I can't remember what it is. Um, raspberry, again, chocolate, lemon, the new alcoholic one. Aaron's favourite is Marie Antoinette, is his favourite one. Um, and then, oh, we have this one, which is a, like, violet one. And, oh. Vanilla, did I mention vanilla? Yeah, so lots of different ones. We're going to try them all out, see what our favourite is, and choose them for the wedding. So we've cut them all up, um, just to go with the flavours again. So this is violet, I think it's like black currant, lemon, pistachio, salted caramel. This is the new alcoholic one. Marie Antoinette, Aaron's favourite. Salted caramel, rose, vanilla, and isofan. It's fat, I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically this one, they do as like a big pastry, which is delicious. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Different flavours to try. Okay. So we're going to start with blackcurrant, which is this one right here. I like it, but I don't think that's one that everyone that's would done. like. Yeah. I don't think it's one for everyone. <clears throat> it's going to be a hit or miss as well. Mm. I think some people really like it. Yeah. The second bite into it, you can taste the, um, the black currants mm. come through. Mm. I like, like black currants. It's quite sharp I do too. Mm. It's quite a sharp black mm. So we've rolled out the black currant for everyone. By the way, we, we didn't know that this was mm. going to happen, but we're <laughs> doing it anyway. Like we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the the new non the new alcoholic one. Oh, that's not on this list, is it? Because I don't think that this is actually on the list that we choose from from the others because it's seasonal. This one's got alcohol in. Taste alcohol. Actually, taste alcohol in there. Actually, it's actually quite good for him. Only a hint though. Mm. Very sugary. In. That's two out of ten we've ruled out. We've ruled out the black currant and then the alcoholic one because they won't have it available anyway, but we wanted all of them because we love them. Should we try chocolate maybe? Is that nice? Do you know this is the dark brown one? This one's the chocolate. Like a nice it's a possible contender for the wedding favours or obviously they're all nice, but is it a favourite? What are you thinking? It's nice, it's quite, it's very, um... That taste of the, the ice cream then, mm. G&D's, you know that flavour, like a nice chocolate. Mm. It's not my, one of my favourites, but I feel like most people will like this. Oh, you mm. think it's a good all-rounder? Yeah. For that chocolate, it's not... <clears throat> like, yeah, yeah, like, I, I, <coughs> I wouldn't choose this. I wouldn't. As but your favourite, but as a good all rounder. I can imagine going, oh, that's actually quite nice. Yeah. Even though the chocolate is a good all rounder, mm. we're thinking we've got chocolate in two of the layers of the cake, and then our dessert is also, we've got a chocolate dessert as well for the dinner. So we're thinking it might be a bit too much chocolate, maybe have something different because we have a lot of chocolate already in the, in the meal. So the next one we're going to try is lemon, which we thought might be nice and nice and refreshing. Is that lemon curd? Yeah, it's like a lemon, really nice lemon curd. Mm. It's quite refreshing, isn't it? Mm. <coughs> That's something I think when it's really hot, you know. It's got a slight bit of bitterness in, mm. but not too much. Mm. Still got a nice little bit of sugariness, mm. sweetness. Quite refreshing, yeah. Out of 10 for the wedding, not out of 10 your favourite. Out of 10 for the I wedding. Think for the wedding, that's a good solid 8. An 8. Yeah. Just eight. Mm. yeah. yeah. Um, no, just an 8. Yeah. But a solid 8. I think lemon is normally a flavour that most people like. Yeah. Mm. I think it's, it's not too not too harsh. I would say it's a bang on 10. Would you? Mm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no one said it was a bang on 10. No, it's, it's a bloke with the cooking and the eating. Oh. Thing. He said it's a bang on 10. Go for the rose is the next one. It's this one. I think the rose is a bit more of an acquired, acquired taste. This rose. Mm. The light like kind of one. Mm. Yeah. It reminds me of how I used to live under the. So we're going to go for isafan or however you pronounce it. Oh, yeah. Pronounce it as the next one. On the we think it could be a raspberry. Oh, isn't it? It's, my it's one of my favourite, but I don't think it was there. Didn't they think they had it today? What's your thoughts, Dad? Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely raspberry. I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I prefer the um, lemon, the black currant. Oh, do you? I prefer the raspberry. But this, um, it has got a nice fruity taste, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of ten for the wedding, what do you think? Is it a contender? Five. No, about a seven. Five. Seven. We've got a seven and we've got a five. So we just had vanilla. However, I didn't press record. But we're saying it's probably maybe like a nine out of ten, do we think? In terms of like everyone, I think will really like it. It's like a really good vanilla. You can tell they use like, you know, vanilla pods. It's not artificial. It's really... Yeah, not essence or anything like that. It's really nice. And we think it's like a good one that everyone will like. But we'll see on these last ones. What are we going to do then out of these these three? You can do yours next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. All right, my mum's favourite is the pistachio. Vanilla is my dad's favourite. Pistachio is my mum's. This is oh. one of my favourites. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So you think this is the top one then? For me, personally, and I do think people would like it. What are you thinking of pistachio, Dad? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, whatever, not allergy, I don't think. Aaron? Mm. <clears throat> Obviously, pistachio is one of the best ones oh, they do. One of the top ones anyway, Obviously, isn't it? taste. However, in my head, I'm just a bit like, 
I feel like it's going to be a hit and miss for people. Mm. I think some people are going to love it, some people are not going to yeah, like it. Yeah, they're going to get ones and stuff, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, not everyone likes that, do they? Mm. Mr. Kipling. It's so tricky because it's definitely like one of the why best. I should choose that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Vanilla, we were giving a 9 out of 10. What do you think about the pistachio, everyone? Nutty almondy taste. I think it will put some people yeah. off. Aaron's favourite is the Marie Antoinette, which is one of the prettiest ones, I think, in terms of the colour. I don't know what taste this is. I think it's meant to be tea. See, I don't think people are going to like this. People won't like this. Yeah. Actually, it's going to be a bit of a worse one. I think it's nice, but... I don't, <laughs> I don't even like it. I don't think. I don't mm. think. Seriously, I think this is going to be one that people like or don't like. Don't like yeah. So this is a really big contender. This yeah. might be my new favorite. So this last one is salted caramel, and I think this could be a big contender. Basically, <laughs> that's nice. I do agree with your mum, it is sickly. It's very sickly. Do you think it's too sickly though? Yeah. yeah. You couldn't have more, you couldn't have like, oh. a few of them, could you? I know you're there, not You're not going to them. I still. definitely think it's too sickly. <clears throat> to be honest, I think some people wouldn't even be able to get a whole one of them. It is quite. <laughs> So we got an 8 out of 10 for the lemon, yeah, lemon nice. and then we chose a 9 out of 10 for the <clears> vanilla. <throat> we had a pistachio at 7 out of 10, we've we knocked it off. Out and try the lemon again? Yeah. Yeah. No, we yeah. Because it's refreshing, isn't it, lemon? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean, I think when it's going to be in hot weather, you know, maybe like really hot. I think that's definitely quite... So yeah. Too, too yeah. Sweet, that well. I like it, but I love sweet stuff. I think for other people it will be too sweet. So that's, we're between a lemon and a vanilla. So we don't know if we're going to do all of one or we're going to do half half of everyone, half of everyone, half the people have lemon and then maybe half the people have vanilla. But I think it was good to try it because I don't think we would have originally chosen these lemon, to be if we, we didn't test it. Lemon. I think we'd have gone for like pistachio and you wanted Marie Antoinette. Yeah. yeah. So that might be what we would have gone for, mine and your favourites. You said that the other day, didn't we, that yours and... Uh, so... There we go. Results don't lie. We've decided to go with lemon <clears throat> macaron for everyone, haven't we? We have. And Aaron's just showing the watch that mum and dad got him for wedding yeah. present to her on the wedding day. Yeah. He's asleep at the moment on his pillow. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. Very nice. You want a somewhat quite simple design, yeah. like not something overly, <clears throat> overly fussy. I don't want too bulky. No. And I don't want it too big, you know what I mean, taken up. Yeah. It's just nice. nice I think size. it's really nice. It fits on the wrist quite nicely. Yeah, from Tissot. Yeah. Very nice. I like this detail on the little links. Do you see it's like a little bit ribbed, <clears throat> which looks really nice. Yeah. I really like how the clasp. Oh, yeah, it goes but together. It, but look. What's really nice about the clasp is that it's nice and sweet. Yeah, it's like completely, sweet, completely it? flat down, isn't it? Which looks yeah. really nice. It's automatic. Yeah. yeah, automatic. Got right over there. <laughs> it's got the date on it as well. The day. Yeah, so you can't forget. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, it's Friday the eighth. Apparently so. Mm. So I'm going to end the vlog here because I think it's yeah. I think we've gone through quite a lot of different wedding things. And then I'm going to do another vlog for the one month countdown and we'll go through some of the bits that I bought on Etsy and other bits to show you and then, yeah just the final month leading up to the wedding, what we get up to, what else we have planned and yeah so I will see you in my next video for the one month countdown to the wedding. Bye!